Hey guys, today I'm going to be showcasing an indie game that I've been developing over the past few months. The game is called Kill or Be Killed and is a top town zombie shooter survival game that was made as part of my uni coursework. The, dame, the game download page can be found in the description below and is completely free so go ahead and get it. The game contains a collection of little features that are explained in the tutorial section of the game so if you want to go ahead and download it now and dive straight, ahead, straight in then go for it. However, I will be going through each feature of the game in this video. You play as a character named Luke, in a world that has been infected to every last inch by zombies. You must try and survive for as long as possible in the hope that someone will come and help. You start in the local park, right outside the office that you used to work in, with nothing but a pistol, an abundance of ammunition for it luckily, thanks to the security officers you found dead inside, and a couple of bandages. You have 100 points of health, 100 points of stamina, and a skill point that can be used to upgrade any of the skills that you want. When you first start the game, your accuracy with the weapons will not be great, but don't worry, as you kill the zombies you are awarded with experience points, which is indicated by the green part that appears at the top of the screen. Each time you level up from, this, from these experience points, uh, you are awarded with a skill point which can be used to skill up different skills such as the marksman skill which increases your accuracy. Above the experience bar is your stamina bar which is used to indicate how much stamina you have. Stamina is used when you are sprinting and is regenerated as soon as you stop sprinting. Above the stamina bar is your health bar. This is quite possibly the most important thing in the game. When you are hit by a zombie, you will begin to take bleed and damage, reducing your health by one point every second. If you are hit by a second zombie before you, before you heal, then the damage will increase to two points every second, and so on. Bleeding can be stopped by using a bandage, and the bandages also heal five points of health. If your health is reduced to zero, then you die and the game is ended. Each time that you gain enough experience to level up, as I said before, you'll be awarded with a skill point that can be used to increase a skill. The health skill will increase your max health by 10 points, allowing you to take damage for longer without dying. The stamina skill will increase your stamina by 20 points, allowing you to run for longer. This is useful when trying to avoid the zombies. Both of these skills can be upgraded as many times as you wish, if, as long as you have the skill points available to spend. There is also a marksman skill for the three different types of weapons in the game, a pistol, a shotgun and a minigun. Each of the skills can be upgraded three times and each time that you level it up, your accuracy with that weapon is increased, until at level three will you be able to shoot dead straight with deadly accuracy. The level of each of these skills is indicated by the little markers next to the skill. Around the outside of the Star Inn Park area is four buildings that you can enter, explore. The office, the spa, and the hospital, and the gun shop. Each of these buildings will have loot that you're able to pick up. The loot consists of shotgun ammo, minigun ammo, and bandages. When you have an ammo for a weapon, you're able to use that weapon immediately. You can change to a weapon by pressing the corresponding number key, one for pistol, two for shotgun and three for your minigun. Each of the weapons have their advantages and disadvantages, so choosing the right weapon to use in different situations will help you survive for longer. The game also has a day and night cycle, which makes it quite difficult to see at night. However, you can turn on your flashlight by pressing the F key. The day that you are currently surviving is shown at the top of the game window. Every other day, up until day 9, the number of zombies that can spawn at once will increase, making it more difficult to survive. However, there are ways to stay on top and give you the upper hand. That brings me on to the shop menu. From this menu, you can buy various items such as shotgun ammo, minigun ammo, grenades and bandages, all of which use normal points that you are awarded with after each time that you kill a zombie. The different zombie types will give you different amounts of points and experience points. The tank zombies, that take the longest to kill and take the most damage, will give you the most points and the most experience points. Whereas the standard zombies will give you the least amount of points and the least XP. Also from the shop menu you can access the weapon upgrades. There is currently only one weapon upgrade for each type of weapon, which that simply increases its rate of fire, helping you keep up with the growing number of zombies that are spawning. 
Each upgrade can be leveled three times, increasing each of the weapon's rate of fire significantly. At this point you should be equipped enough and ready to take on the hordes of zombies that you encounter, but one slip and you might find yourself in a real nasty situation.